filtration of samples prior to liquid chromatography is an important consideration, both in terms of maintaining column life, preventing damage to instrumentation, but also to ensure optimal um, results in terms of the quality of the chromatogram. In terms of preparing dirty samples prior to application to uh, an LC column, you need to remove particulate matter to prevent column blockage and the choice of pore size and retention of the filter material chosen ultimately will be determined by the particle size of the column being used. So it's an important consideration. Particles present in the sample can block the inlet side of the column which in turn will reduce column life. Also increasing the back pressure of the column which ultimately will lead to the LC system shutting down. Particles present in the sample can also damage components within the liquid chromatography system which in turn can lead to repair costs but also downtime of the instrumentation which is very important to minimise nowadays. In addition to those cost reduction aspects, particulate that is present in the sample that can begin to block the inlet of the LC column will slow the application of the sample to the column bed, which in turn can affect the resolution and quality of the chromatogram that you see. So appropriate sample preparation is important. You need to consider the pore size that is being chosen, but you also need to consider the type of filter material based on the solvents that are present in your sample to ensure chemical compatibility is met, but also that you uh, minimize any non-specific binding of analytes of interest. In addition, uh, another consideration would be to ensure that you have an appropriate selection of the filter unit size um, to minimize losses of the sample through holder volume of the device, whether that be a 25mm syringe filter unit, a 13mm, or something like a 4mm syringe filter for very, very small samples.